kids, this is Miss Emily, and during this Halloween season, I wanted to let you know about some spooky middle grade titles that have come out in the past year. The first is Be Wary of the Silent Woods by Svetlana Chimakova. Now it's a new graphic novel that talks about weirns, or witches, that are born with a demon guardian spirit bound to them for life. And in this small New England town, a weirn in training, Ailish, lives with her grandmother who runs a magic shop. Now, Ailish and her cousins, Naya and Desh, have long heard stories about the creepy mansion in the woods, and they've always kept their distance from it. But when an eerie light and masked man appear near the house and weird things begin happening, Ailish and her cousin must confront the secrets hidden within the mansion. Now, if you like Svetlana's other books, like the Berrybrook Middle School graphic novel series, you'll enjoy this one. Our next book is called Gloom Town by Ronald L. Smith. In this eerie adventure, Rory has lived in Gloom, a small and bleak fishing village all his life. Now he's desperate to help his mother pay rent on their cottage, and he notices a job available at the notoriously creepy Foxglove Manor, and he applies for the position. He gets the position, and soon he discovers that his frightening new master may be an ancient, inhuman, evil entity with a sinister agenda. Rory has to enlist his best friend Izzy to help defeat the supernatural forces that reside in the manor. Fans of nail-biting mysteries and tales such as Roald Dahl's The Witches will definitely like this one. Up next, we have A Box of Bones by Marina Cohen. Now, in this magic-laden story of family secrets, Callie lives in Vermont with her stern father and gentle Grandpa Jess following the death of her mother. Now, Callie is a lover of logic and order and routine and dislikes anything uncertain found in stories. But her life takes a mysterious turn when a faceless costume figure at the town's Festival of Fools hands her a wooden puzzle box, which, when unlocked, unleashes a set of bewitched bones with strange symbols on them that entangle Callie in a story beyond her control. This is for readers of stories like Serafina and the Black Coat and The Key to Extraordinary. Next is Whispering Pines by Heidi Lang. Ray Carter arrives in Whispering Pines, Connecticut, determined to appear normal. But the fact that her neighbor Caden Price's family are ghost hunters doesn't help her. Nor do the strange disappearances of children. Even worse, when the children do reappear, their eyes are missing. Now Ray, Caden, and Vivian have to befriend one another in the hopes of diving into Whispering Pines' deadly secrets to thwart the serial eye catcher before they claim another victim. For those who enjoy creepy tales like Victoria Schwab's City of Ghosts, this one is for you. One more middle grade novel that recently came out is The Girl and the Ghost by Hannah Alkef. Soraya is delighted when her witch grandmother gives her a pellicet, a kind of parasitic demon ghost that feeds on the blood of its host. Soraya names him Pink, and he soon becomes her playmate, her caretaker, and defender against bullies. But when Soraya makes her first human friend, Pink feels his relationship is slipping away from her. And Soraya doesn't know that Pelisets have a dark side. And when Pink's shadows threaten to consume them both, they must find enough light to survive before they're both lost to the darkness. If you're a fan of books such as The Night Gardener or The Girl Who Drank the Moon, this one you'll enjoy. Keeping with our spooky theme, I thought it'd be fun to share a few short story collections as well that have recently come out. The first is Don't Turn Out the Lights by Jonathan Mayberry. Now this is a collaboration with the Horrors Writers Association and Jonathan Mayberry has compiled a gruesome collection of terrifying stories in tribute to Alvin Schwartz's classic Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark that will chill readers to the bone. So if you choose to read this one, make sure to turn off your lamps, click on your flashlights, and prepare to be utterly spooked. Another newer short story collection is called Out to Get You, 13 Tales of Weirdness and Woe by Josh Allen. Now this collection is in the tone of Twilight Zone, and readers can dive deep into a nightmarish wonderland where everything and nothing is as it seems. It's complete with creepy illustrations as well. These haunting short stories will plunge young horror enthusiasts into a place where there's a price or consequence for everything. 
which kids can beat the odds and figure out a way for their lives to go back to normal? Or is normal the real myth in this wondrously eerie collection? One final short story collection is Scary Stories for Young Foxes by Christian McKay Heidecker. An ancient fox storyteller presents a collection of six interwoven tales that follows a group of young fox kits as they fight to survive in an unforgiving wilderness. The stomach-clenching fear and suspense throughout the stories are resolved by a happy ending, but some readers, especially if you're an animal lover, may want to skip this collection. It's beguiling and intricate with black and white illustrations, and it's a short story collection for the bold. If you're looking for a spooky read this Halloween season, hopefully one of these titles interests you. And as always, if you're looking for any other recommendations, feel free to call, email, or visit us at the Lyle Library.